What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Echo and the Bunny Men. And we're going back to the People Are Strange EP, which is a series of uh, covers by Echo and the Bunny Men. And this one is actually listed as live, so apparently this is from some live performance. And they're covering Paint It Black. As Luca goes running around, what do you think? You want to come up? You want to come up? We'll see if she does. She'll probably jump right back down. In any case, uh, it is a masterpiece. I love the original. Um, I don't know too many Stone songs well, but that is one, along with a couple others, that I'm very, very fond of. And yeah, it's a, a very dark song, um, you know, not just in terms of painting it black, but emotionally. It's the idea that if someone beautiful is taken away from you, the idea of then, you know what, fine, I don't want to see anything beautiful in the world, like everything, just paint it black, blot out the sun from the sky, because if this person doesn't get to exist, um, that I want to destroy, you know, anything that's remotely beautiful, because it's not fair that that should continue to exist. So it's a, it's a very pain song, it's a song with a lot of bitterness and anger over um, someone's loss. So, curious to hear, you know, how much, oh yeah? Curious to hear how much Echo and the Bunnymen might change it or essentially, you know, leave it the same and just put a bit of their own flavor on it. So let's find out. This is Echo and the Bunnymen with a cover of the Doors classic, uh, Painted Black. So yeah, I mean, they basically kept it as is, but, you know, maybe the vocal work was the most original in that, you know, especially by the end, I feel like he was taking some liberties in terms of 
deviating from uh, Mick Jagger's delivery, which I'll give you a funny anecdote. I remember I was talking to someone about the Stones one time, and the guy made the point, that like, oh, you know, I never knew he was Scottish. And I was like, I don't actually think he is Scottish. And he was saying, like, he basically thought the name was Mick Jagger, like MC, like a, you know, like a Celtic surname, like Mick Jagger. And it really made me laugh. So, yeah, every time I think of the Stones and Mick Jagger, like Mick Jagger, I think of the guy who was convinced that he was Scottish. And after I realized, like, what had happened, it was so perfect, I didn't even really, you know, correct him on it. It was just like, oh, right, yeah. Anyway, um, like I said, I really love the original. I think this is pretty faithful. I enjoy, you know, it's essentially the the true tune. They didn't, you know, reconfigure it into a different style. Um, but like I said, the the vocals felt like he um, departed a bit from the the original. So yeah, cool cover. I wonder where that was live. Um, it didn't feel like a massive, you know, like stadium uh, sound. It sounded like you know maybe a mid level or like smaller venue. Um, and yeah, again, this is, I think, 81, so, um, you know, still very early days, but I love that they were already, you know, exploring, doing covers of some classic songs and putting their own spin on it. So yeah, um, two or three more to go in here, uh, and then we'll be on to the next proper album. So once again, shout out to Amber. I really do appreciate it. Let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace.